Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Tuesday, September the 3rd. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have, you can use this email address. This is a link to get into the free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our trading room. I open the room every morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Start to share my screen, get live in the mic then, and I go up to 3.30 Mondays to Thursdays and three, up to 3 o'clock on Fridays. In the email you're getting, the you will see a promo code. It is still alive and active. Uh, you'll see it. It's I think it's Labor Day Sale, all in capital letters. You'll get 20% off the first month only or the entire year of a Trade Idea subscription, and it will expire tonight, tonight being uh, September 3rd, at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. So know your time zone. Okay. So uh, I have to say that today was the probably the worst day I've had for the, the watch list. I'm calling it now the watch list instead of the evening scan. I mean, basically, that's what it is. It is a watch list, of course. Um, when I say the worst day, it's just that we really didn't have too many uh, from that list anyway, and not very many others that I saw that had what I would call more or less continuous trends. Now, except for, of course, the G-Gal. <laughs> G-Gal, there it was, 935, 1095. Did I take the trade? Yes. Took it right here at uh, 1090, uh, I think it was 1091. Unfortunately, I sold some here and some, and some here on that little pop. I decided to get out and then look what happened afterwards. Now, one of the reasons I did that, and I guess I should not have let the, the pre-market influence me so much. This is one of the uh, Argentinian stocks. And, uh, you know, if I, if I take a look at some of the other ones, BMA, you're going to see very similar. Uh, BMA, um, YPF. See, YPF. And then look what they all did once the market opened. Now, somebody, I didn't actually see the actual news, but somebody uh, said that uh, something to do with currency, uh, and that's why the Argentinian stocks were all uh, popping in the pre-market. But once the market opened, they just did this. I was a little afraid, though, that maybe, not saying it would get back up here, but for all the reasons it did this, maybe, you know, that was the start of maybe a rebound. So that's why I got out and, you know, I just read it wrong, just flat out read it wrong. I mean, I wish I'd kept some. I would have been a wonderful uh, percentage move down for me. But, you know, I did that one. I actually took another one, the TLRD. That actually came also from the watch list early. And... This, this one had some news. It's uh, basically a deal they've got with the NFL. The NFL opens this week. I think they've got some kind of a deal in which uh, they, can, they can make um, suit inserts, you know, the linings of suits, and they can uh, make it in your favorite team. So you want the Packers lining inside your suit, you got it. So anyway, that was the news for Taylor, TLRD. It just didn't uh, keep going. I actually took this trade, I think it was at 570. Yeah, I took the trade right here around 570, had a little pop up here, thought, okay, now we're going. And then it, when it dropped, I got out actually for a four cent loss. I actually did take a trade from, uh, from the AI today. I don't, I haven't been doing that, uh, but this one, you know, looked good. Yext, there was the alert at 1601. Didn't get in there, got in just around here, right around 1608 and got all the way up to 1637 and again on a day like today where didn't see too many stocks that just kept you know in a nice trend um that wasn't bad i got out most of the i think i took some of 1622 and, and here i mean so it's not a fantastic trade but nonetheless at least it was a nice positive one and one of the reasons i liked it is if you take a look at it on the daily chart you can just see that i mean it had all this room it had uh, earnings a couple of days ago. That's why this, this big uh, gap down. And then, you know, we're, we're looking at this, this area here. Actually, I think there was earnings here and it gapped up and then down. You know what? I can't remember. It's a couple of days ago anyway. But the bottom line is that I love this potential void fill and that's why I took the trade. And it's actually called the five-day bounce, I think, from, from, from the AI. And then just before I started this video... I did take guess. Uh, guess came from the basic new highs and lows. And yeah, it's not doing much. I'm in at 1680 on a short. Looking at this area here, of course, is maybe, 
you know, this was an earnings play three days ago, and it actually gapped up nicely on earnings, but it did sell off. I mean, it got as high as 1953 before it closed at 1812 on that day, popped up a little bit on Friday and closed down. And now it looks like it wants to move down. But anyway, this is sort of, um, you, know, so, you know, I just decided to take this as something that might have uh, uh, a void fill. The market is weak, though it's kind of flattened out. You know, it's really kind of flattened out. There's the first 30 minutes. Big, big candle down. Another little rally, another big candle down. And now it's just kind of flattened out. So anyway, this has definitely been the worst day for the watch list. You know, flat out just have to say it. It's been the worst day for the watch list. Um, a lot of times, a lot of this, in fact, I probably have too many alerts. But most of the time what I've seen is, you know, we get four or five alerts maybe um, five on the short side, five on the downside. And I would say that three of them in each one would have decent trends. And in other words, you see the alert and it kind of keeps moving from there. But I've just seen quite a bit of chop today. So just uh, kind of a difficult day to trade. And you know, you're gonna get them. Not every day is gonna be a nice trending day. All right, everybody, wanna close this down and get back into the room and see if maybe we can get something uh, later on for the day. So if you have any questions for me, uh, this is the email address you can use and a link for the free room. And don't forget, the promo code is still alive until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time tonight for 20% off. You'll see the code in the email you're getting. And I'll open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. Hope to see you in the room tomorrow. Bye-bye.